The following is an exclusive presentation of Ring of Honor Wrestling on HDNet. May 8th, New York City. Roderick Strong finally gets what he's wanted all along. One-on-one, -on -one, Tyler Black, Roderick Strong, world title. You're right, Kyle. Roddy, you finally do get what you want. You finally get what I promised you, a shot at my title. Well, let me tell you, be careful what you wish for. Because come New York, you're not going to be able to whine, you're not going to be able to cry, and you're not going to be able to blame and point your finger like you've been doing this whole time. Because come New York, come May 8th, Kyle, at the Manhattan Center, when it's just me and Roderick Strong, one-on-one, -on -one, Roddy, you're going to have to be a man, and you're going to have to get the job done. No more failing and no more whining. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the prize, the championship belt indicative of the new Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Over the past few weeks, the competition has raged in the tournament for the title. Tonight, it comes down to the last two men, Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards, a battle of the American Wolves. This is the prize, the World Television title. You'll see the winner tonight on Ring of Honor Wrestling. This is a God's title match. It is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from the Temple of Lush on Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Weighing 203 pounds. Addicted to law. Ring Titan. <laughs> what? She didn't want it. Well, she didn't want the cane. That's perfectly fine. There's lots of ladies that would love the opportunity to step into Rhett Titus' hotel room after the show. Rhett Titus with a huge opportunity tonight. Wrestling the world champion. In some way, somehow, he's able to pull out a win against the world champion in a non-title matchup. But in order to get in line for that belt, you need to earn a spot in the pick six rankings and become a contender. Tyler Black has everyone coming after that belt. Well, in case you're wondering, the next title bout will be May 8th in New York City. Roderick Strong and Tyler Black. But Tyler's not thinking about that right now. He has got to focus on his opponent because I think it was when he learned to focus and keep his focus that he was able to become the champion. It was what he had trouble with for so long. And I don't know, Red Titus not going to give him the A, yeah, give him the handshake. He was ready to follow the code of honor right there, and it was Tyler that pulled the hand away. What's that all about? Don't want to touch Red Titus' hand? It's clean. And getting the upper hand or the upper wrist with the wrist lock. I was talking about focus a moment ago, Dave, and I think that's something that Rhett Titus has had to learn because he's got the athleticism. He's really improved a lot over the last year. And that's because of the influence of his mentor, former two-time world champion Austin Aries, who has really helped guide Rhett Titus the past year or so and turn him into a much, much better wrestler with each and every time he gets in the ring. And Titus with a shot like there. But as you see, when he makes a good move, sometimes he will lose focus. 
Yeah, when he dash. learns not to do that, he is going to go places. Throws the drop kick, but Tyler put on the brakes. Trying to slow down the pace of the match, it looks like, with this headlock. Always important for the world champion to feel in control of the situation, be it in a match like this or in, in terms of who's coming after the belt, the title hunt, if you will. He's going to have to face quick pace and speed when he goes against Roderick Strong on May 8th. We've seen it in their matches in the past. But this time it will be one-on-one -on -one with the belt on the line, something that Roderick Strong has been waiting for the opportunity for. And the early advantage to Tyler Black. As he slammed Titus down, got a boot right on the neck. I want to do damage to the facial features. Ruin his chances of someone actually wanting the room key later. I don't think uh, Red Titus now is thinking about a room key. I think he realizes this is a huge opportunity. He knows. He knows uh, as he stepped in the ring with the world champion and wants to be in the pick six himself. Nice crossbody. Cover in a count of two. Yeah, Red Titus knows this on national television tonight. Going against the world champion. If he makes a good impression, could really mean a lot. Came off the ropes and took a chance, and Tyler caught him. Got the backbreaker on him, slammed him down, and he's going to work on the back of Rhett Titus. Yeah, two maneuvers in succession, focusing on the same body part. Got the knees into the midsection of Tyler as Rhett saw him take that chance with the K Brada. And how about Rhett Titus coming right back and knocking Tyler Black off of the ring down onto that hard mat. Using the barricade to his advantage. Tyler Black made one mistake, and Rhett Titus is taking advantage of it. It's what he's got to do if he hopes to pull out the win. A lot of damage to the back of Tyler now. Boy, Rhett Titus showing some strength. Looking for a count-out win. Hey, any way you can get it, right? And he can get it. Tyler rolls back in. 20 seconds on the floor here in ROH. Boy, Titus taking it to Tyler Black right now. Tyler trying to mount some offense. I think Tyler just realized he is really going to have to go to work to beat Rhett Titus. You know how it is when you're the big underdog. You pull out all the stops. Sometimes you do things that you didn't even think you were capable of. Well, he knew he was capable of that drop kick. Got all of it, but only a near fall for Rhett Titus right there. Tyler gra grabbing his mouth after the impact of that move. Roderick Strong coming after the championship May 8th. The Manhattan Center in New York City. Always electric in that venue when Ring of Honor comes to town. Suplex. Of course, May 8th also will feature the return to ROH competition of the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, a man who made a surprise return at the Big Bang in Charlotte. And uh, he was one of the founding fathers of Ring of Honor Hog and someone who definitely has his eyes on the prize as well. I can't not wait to see him in the ring. Really, I've heard so much about him. I'm looking forward to that on May the 8th. He's got the best moonsault ever. Red Titus back on his feet, as is Tyler Black. And Tyler Black with a shot to Titus here. Here's where we're going to see what Black is made of. The champion was stung a little bit by the upstart, Red Titus. Face first into the canvas. And Titus again, impressive, got a cover and a count of two. He's to stay on the man, but nursing his own back, Red Titus. Man's giving oh, Tyler Black encouragement. And maybe that's giving him that burst of energy to fire away on Rhett Titus, but quickly go into the eyes of Tyler Black to get the advantage once again. 
Trying to work on that abdomen. He's got the abdominal stretch cinched in. World of pain for the world champion as Paul Turner checks on his condition. Ask him, can he submit? He might. Is this match over now? You never know. He could give it up right here. Paul Turner asking, is he okay? Look at Red Titus not letting go of that hold at all. Trying to wear the champion down. Trying to hip toss his way out of it, but Rhett holds his ground. And Red Titus. How about the agility of Tyler Black? Able to get the head scissors. And able to avoid him, and now the clothesline here and comes back at him again. And now the back of Rhett Titus. Has to hurt after that. These fans encouraging Tyler Black on. And again, the agility of Tyler Black. Got the leg up, whipped it into the head. He's going to fly off the ropes into Rep Titus. And Tyler Black showing his championship form right now. But Rep Titus showing how prepared he is, able to kick out. Tyler maybe going to take a chance with that. Quebrada again. Went for the knees, but Tyler landed on his feet. And gave him a boot right to the head. Now the cover again at a count of two before Titus can work the shoulder up. A standing shooting star press out of Tyler Black. Can't put the man away. Oh no, setting up for the buckle bomb. Is this the buckle bomb here? If he can get him up, oh. He can't get him up. Who, wait, what's, what's going on? Hold on, there's Kenny King. And Austin, Austin Aries. Austin Aries, what are they doing? What are they doing? Paul Turner, turn around. The referee needs, my goodness. He's distracted, but there's Roderick Strong. Oh my, this, this was really a good match before all this. Action on the floor is Roderick Look Strong. Look at Roderick Strong. Thank goodness for Roderick to get King and Austin Aries out of here. He's basically saving Tyler Black. I don't understand. Well, I think he's like us. He wants to see a fair match. Super kick from Tyler Black. Here's God's last gift. One, two, three. It's over. Tyler Black, the world champion, has beaten Red Titus. A good fight by Rhett Titus, but Tyler Black retains the title. Give the assist to Roderick Strong, running off both Kenny King and Austin Aries from ringside. And Tyler looks confused as well. He knows Roderick's coming after his belt. Yeah, on May the 8th in New York. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting. Roderick making his way up on the ring apron, maybe going to explain what he had in mind out here. Asked for the microphone, so we'll see what he has to say. You know, Tyler, from this moment on, me and you, we're best friends. Tyler. What? Let's just say I'm your guardian angel. Let's say I'm going to keep you safer than President Obama. How about that? Because, Tyler, nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, is going to get their hands on you until I do. So, Tyler, you're all mine, buddy. Well, he will get his hands on him May 8th in New York City. You know, Roddy, it's just you and me out here, man to man. So let me ask you a question, all right? Why you got to keep whining about this? Why you got to keep blaming other people, pointing the finger? Why didn't you stop acting like a little bitch? Oh! My. Strong, strong words. Oh, my goodness. 
Roddy Strong went right at him. Hey, we might go at it right here. It's breaking down. Somebody needs to get in and separate these two. Well, the locker room is clearing. These two men scheduled a battle in New York City, but they're coming to blows right now. They want at each other. They're not going to wait till May 8th. They want it right now. These fans want to see him fight. May 8th, the Manhattan Center in New York City for the world title. Roderick Strong versus Tyler Black. Well, I'll tell you this. Nobody will be able to stop him on that night. And the stage is set. It will May be 8th. For the world title, Roderick Strong wanted a one-on-one -on -one match against Tyler Black for the belt. It's what Tyler promised him months ago, just before he won the world title. He will get it at the Manhattan Center. Well, I think as you can see, things are starting to get a little bit out of hand between Tyler Black and Roddy Strong Dave. Well, Mike, they're going to get their chance to settle things once and for all with the title on the line. May the 8th, New York City, the Manhattan Center. Roderick will get his one-on-one -on -one matchup against Tyler Black for the belt. Right now, let's take a look at how this all happened, this feud between Black and Strong. Tyler, you got one free one. One free shot tonight, but I want my shot. I want the shot that you owe me. At the Big Bang on April 3rd in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Ring of Honor World Championship will be on the line when Tyler Black defends against Austin Aries and Roderick Strong in a triple threat match. No, 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 Jeff, Jeff. He promised me a title shot, and what? I want my no, title no, no, shot. Hey, hey. I deserve a title Roddy, shot. Roddy, would you shut up? Hey, 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 hey. Oh. You know, Roddy's gone off the deep end about this whole situation. He's lost his mind, and that makes him real dangerous. And Roderick Strong finally not got what he deserved, took what he deserved. And that's the Ring of Honor world title. Roderick Strong psychiatrist. I'm not his doctor. I'm not looking out for him. In the end, I'm looking out for me and what I gotta do. I'm sick of being lied to. I'm sick of being cheated. Pain is coming. This match is set for one call with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Jeff Gary, Indiana, weighing 264 pounds, Skull Crusher, Rashid Brown. His opponent currently in the ring, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing 211 pounds, Dave Snow. Rashi Brown, every time we've seen him in the ring, he's been impressive. And are you kidding me? A Get cigarette? A little cardio before this matchup for James Stone. Wonder what his strategy is taking on a man the size, the power of Rashi Brown. I don't know. I, Following the code of honor. I'm not sure about Jimmy's look there. We have seen the Skull Crusher be so very dominant in recent weeks. The. Uh, the man who is the hottest free agent in professional wrestling. We've seen Prince Nana, Shane Hagedorn, everybody trying to sign this man. They see dollar signs. Well, Dave, every time I've seen him in the ring, he has been totally impressive. On HDNet, every time we've seen him, he has been unstoppable. Just one palm thrust to the chest floored his opponent here tonight. And it, I think he lost his smoke. Yeah, did you see it? The cigarette went flying. Maybe Stone thought he would have an easy night. He's very mistaken. He does get the elbow up. And Stone's up on the ropes. Backflip, and he missed it. Missed it. There's a spear from Rashi Brown. Skull Crusher is in control. And it does not look good for Stone right now. Here it is. Got him up. 
Taking his time. Burning hammer. There's the cover. One, two, three. Slap the porpoise. Rushy Brown. Strong once again. Here is your winner, Cow Butcher, Rushy Brown. Another easy victory for the Skull Crusher as he plows through the competition in Ring of Honor. Still to come tonight, our main event, the ROH World TV title bout. David Richards and Eddie Edwards, these guys are partners. We know them as the American Wolves, and they have had great success as a tag team. You see, because no matter what script someone tries to sell you, no matter what world they try to get you to buy into, some things are as they are. And what we are is the best tag team in the world. No one or nothing is going to change that. The American Wolves are not created to win shiny belts. If I want a shiny belt, I'll go in the back of a magazine and buy one. Fat Boy and Club Anorexia, better known as Steve Generico, you boys been avoiding reality for far too long. When I get you in this ring, reality is coming crashing down. For the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship in this match, tables are legal. Now Eddie Edwards has got wood. What? Did you just say that, Hog? We make history. We are the greatest tag team in Ring of Honor history. You know, people see the American Wolves, you know, it's, it's, it's not a name. It's a way of life, you know. There's people that are hunters and there's people that are prey, you know. We make things happen. Eddie's just like me, and that's why we dominate. So what makes tag team wrestling special in Ring of Honor is the American Wolves. <laughs> Hey, American Wolves, y'all had that coming from Y'all had that ass coming from We had to get Joe. Well, these deadly kicks here from Davey Richards. Here's the roll-up right here. One, two, three, it's over! After losing the belt, losing tonight, you have to wonder, what is the future of the American Wolves? Two on one, Dark City's best chance so far in the match. Can they do it? Here we go. Project Mayhem. This could be real trouble. One, two, three. It's over. A devastating loss for the Wolves. And I'll tell you, from my point of view, it looks like the troubles of the American Wolves continue. What is the future of the American Wolves? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome Sean Devari. Sean Devari, do you hear some of the boos? Now a part of Ring of Honor, and Dave, controversy has followed this man wherever he's gone in wrestling. Yeah, he's been kicked off national television because of because of his ethnicity and the controversy that surrounds it. But you know what? He's not a terrorist. He's no one to be feared in that way. But as a professional wrestler, as a fighter, he certainly is a man that everyone should not mess with whatsoever. He's someone to be feared. He's an American. Tonight, I'm here to introduce to you Sean Davari, the man. And Sean Davari, the man, is sick to his stomach with modern day America. And the reason I'm sick to my stomach with modern day America is because of you, 
modern day Americans. You modern day Americans are the slime on Capitol Hill that shed innocent blood for cheap foreign oil. You modern day Americans are the crooks in the corporate world that bankrupt and rape families and lives to make an extra buck. And you modern day Americans are the spectators that sit here before me and pass prejudice judgment to those like me who are different. Because when things are different, it's okay for an American soldier to point the barrel of his gun at a young Iraqi child. That doesn't happen. When things are different, it's okay for people like you to take the best pound-for-pound -pound wrestler in the world today and turn him into clown shoes, turn him into fodder for a white American hero to beat and pummel as you sit there and subconsciously get brainwashed to the star-spangled chants of USA, USA, USA. USA means there's equal opportunity for all, and that includes Sean Devore. Nobody's prejudiced against him. That's what makes this country great, and it's why they're chanting USA. Sean Devore, the wrestler, has arrived in Ring of Honor. Sean Devore, the man, has arrived in Ring of Honor. And very, very soon, you will understand why we're here. Sean, it's the USA that gave you the opportunity to stand in that ring with that microphone and say anything you wanted. And Sean, if you've got a problem with the USA, buddy, you've got a problem with me. And coming up next, the finals of the Ring of Honor World Television Title Tournament, the Battle of the Wolves, Davey Richards versus Eddie Edwards. Well, we've waited a long time for it, and there it is, the belt that Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards are going to be wrestling for. You see Shane Hagedorn in the background. He manages both guys. Who's he going to be pulling for tonight? Uh, he's going to be in a neutral corner, but I'm not looking at Hagedorn. Reign of Antosh bringing the television championship belt to ringside. You know what's impressive? What? She's got getting into this ring down to a science. And that's what you're thinking about right now? Uh, yeah, we know that we know the title the title bouts around the corner and here it comes This is your main event. It is scheduled for one ball of television time remaining And it is the final of the tournament to crown the first Ring of Honor World Television Champion championship partners collide with the championship belt at stake as we see the first member of the American Wolves, Eddie Edwards, make his way to the ring. He secured his spot here two weeks ago. Had to wait last week to see who was going to win between his partner, David Richards, and Kenny King. I wonder what's going on in his mind right now. And his partner gets ready to come into the arena. Such a unique scene, this particular contest. You don't often see tag team partners face off against one another. We have seen in the past how great they are as a tag team unit. Their strategy unmatched in double teamwork, but now they have to fight each other. They know each other so well as partners. Do they know what each other brings to the table as opponents? Tonight's main event, a dream match in many ways to determine the holder of the third championship here in ROH. 
And look at that, David Richards just threw one of our staff members down so we could climb up on the barricade. And here they are. Introducing first at ringside, representing both competitors, Shane Hagador. Well, that answers that question. He's going to represent both of them. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing 214 pounds, he is representing the American Wolves, Eddie Edwards. His opponent, from Othello, Washington, weighing 207 pounds, he is representing the American Wolves, David Richards. Interesting, Dave, that most of the applause for David Richards. Well, I think that everyone uh, watching at home and everyone in the venue here tonight uh, appreciates the wrestling skills of Davy Richards. And uh, oftentimes, Eddie Edwards is overlooked as a part of the American Wolves just because of how sharp and how focused Davy Richards can be in singles competition. Tonight, Edwards has an opportunity to get out of the shadow of Davy Richards in many ways by defeating him and becoming the television champion. Todd Sinclair, our referee here tonight, as the two partners shake hands, as is the tradition in the Ring of Honor. Following the code of honor. Two very cautious wrestlers right now heading into this matchup. They've had their issues in recent months uh, coming out on the losing end of some very important tag team matches here on HDNet. And many have questioned the future of these two men as partners in the American Wolves. Uh, but... You know, they, they've tried to silence the critics as much as possible and say, you know, there's no problems with us as partners. Uh, we just would love to have singles titles as well. And uh, be it the world television title or the ROH World Championship, but, both men want success. But, Dave, here, here's my question. How can a match as important as this, as crucial as this is to both of these wrestlers, not hurt their relationship and not really – Break up the American Wolves. Well, when you're an athlete in athletic competition, you just focus on getting a win. It's not personal. Uh, if you play basketball against someone, do you hate that person necessarily? No, you just want to play the game the best you can and pull out the victory. And that's that's the case between these two men. They're going to go hold for hold, move for move. They might not the knock the living daylights out of each other in the process, but it's all about just getting that win. Well, I'm going to beg to differ with you, Dave. One thing I've learned about wrestling, I think it is personal, and we'll we'll see. But it is a championship on the line, and these guys will do whatever it is to win. And one thing I, I know you would agree with me on is that they do know each other very, very well. And that's going to make this match, I think, even more interesting. Yeah, the exchange we just saw right there proved that point, Hog, as they both threw the drop kick at the same time. They were on the same page. Shane Hagedorn pounded on the mat. I'm not sure what that's all about. Well, he's in that neutral corner, encouraging both men. You know, if you're Shane Hagedorn, whoever wins this matchup, you come up on the winning end. Yeah, he's the only guy guaranteed to win, Shane Hagedorn. Like a Roman knuckle lock, test of strength. And it's Edwards looking to power Davies' shoulders down to the canvas, but maintaining a bridge here. These two guys have made such great partners over the last few years. What in your mind is the strength of each of these wrestlers? Well, Davey Richards has those brutal kicks as well as a great submission game. Uh, when we talk about submissions, Eddie Edwards has perfected the Achilles lock, that half crab, does a number on the leg of his opponents. And if he could cinch that hold in on Davey Richards in this matchup, that could be the key to Eddie Edwards pulling out the win and becoming the TV champ. As we can see early on in this match, these guys are pretty equal. That's what makes them a good team. And we've seen it many times in the past. Great tag team partners make even better opponents sometimes and make for exciting professional wrestling. And that's what we're seeing in the early going thus far. 
Dave, they look both to be very cautious here in the early going. Did you expect this? They don't want to make a huge mistake early in the matchup. It could cost them in the long run. And some nice maneuvering right there into the wrist lock by Eddie Edwards. Maybe thinking about a counter of his own. And he connects with the drop kick that time. Yeah, nice drop kick on the part of Davey Richards. Oh, close line him there. Shouting American Wolves, which could be rooting his opponent on to victory in this one. Again, such a unique situation in this match. Well, he flipped Eddie Edwards over and hurt his back a bit. Got a cover, but only a count of one. He's got great yeah. impact on the snap suplex. Now trying to wear him down. Got him in that headlock. The figure four head scissors trying to cut off the circulation. But Eddie reaches the ropes. Dave, this might be one of those matches where it just comes down to endurance. Who can outlast the other? And that was very much the case between Davey Richards and Kenny King last week in the semifinals. They gave it all they got uh, for you know, upwards of 20 minutes in that particular matchup. Nice drop kick. They know each other so well. Eddie Edwards had that handspring in. Zagiri scouted, connected with the drop kick first, and another good look at the World Television Championship belt that is on the line in this one. Where was that? It was in the lap of Reina Vaughn. Uh, oh, I, I didn't see it. I was, saw something else. Oh, see, there it see is. Right okay, there. yeah, now I see it. The belt. Yeah, got it. And Reina. But, uh... Backbreaker here from Eddie Edwards trying to soften up that body part. The Achilles lock does damage to the leg, but also puts some strain on the back of his opponent in the process. And the chin lock cinched in to take away that fire of Davey Richards. Hey Dave, you wonder, will Davey Richards go after the elbow? He knows as well as anybody that Eddie Edwards' elbow has not been at full strength. It's a very good question. Does he have enough respect for his partner to stay away from the elbow? Or does he want the belt even more than he wants to protect his friend. Is this a match where you do whatever it takes to win? I believe so. Oh no, Is Davey. he gonna suplex him over this top rope? All the way down to the floor, Eddie holding on. Well, both guys are incredibly strong. Oh, a nice kick there by Davey Richards. Now going to try to suplex him over the rope. He does it. Both guys go over the rope and out of the ring. Taking a huge risk. Both men all the way down to the floor, crashing down hard. Well, I guess that answers the question if he's going to watch out for the well-being of his opponent and his tag team partner, or if he wants the belt that badly. Dave, I think that just changed the complexion of this match. You saw the count going on from Todd Sinclair. We've got we 20 certainly seconds. don't want to count out. We need to get these guys back in the ring. Yeah. Richard slowly making his way back up on the edge of the ring. And Edwards back on his feet as well. Yeah, so both guys are back up on the ring, though not in it. And the fight continues here on the apron. Throwing kicks at the same time. Oh, and that one got right to Eddie Edwards. What a kick. The alarm from Davey clock. Richards. Yeah. And there's a dive right into Edwards. Up against the barricade. Watch this. Brought himself back inside the ring. Got such momentum driving the back of his opponent against the steel barricade and sending Davey several rows deep. That takes real skill and real courage. You see what both of the Wolves bring to the table, but it's Richards with the advantage right now. Uh, Davey Richards hurting a little bit from that as well. You can tell he is pumped up. And right now in control of this match. Those signature kicks from Richards. 
the world TV title on the line here. And Both. the kicks from Davey Richards, you told us about them, Dave. They have really been strong. There's another. Well, that time he was able to get that handspring kick that uh, Eddie Edwards had scouted earlier in the matchup, delivering the drop kick. This time, Richards lands the maneuver. And the Richards supporters voicing their support. And there are a lot of them here in this arena. That look of intensity we see so often on the face of Davey Richards. Oh, and a knee right to the midsection. Suplex, got the cover. And right and into the Kimura. He didn't get the three count, but went right into the submission hold. Edwards is in pay trying to get to the ropes, and he does. Great job by Eddie Edwards to get a foot on the rope. And David Richards has to break that hold. You know, he wants the belt signaling. He wants to be the television champion. Good counter from Edwards. Belly to belly suplex launched him overhead. Does this remind you a bit of two brothers fighting? Hey, they, they almost are like brothers. They know each other so well. And now it's Eddie going to take a risk. And Eddie going on the ropes. And the dive down feet first right into Davy Richards, who goes outside the ring. And now is Eddie going to be able to fly? He's thinking about it. Through the ropes he goes, and... Well, you'll notice as Eddie Edwards comes off the ropes, he does drive the back of Davey Richards into the steel, much like Davey did to Eddie earlier. But Eddie Edwards stayed within the steel barricades and within the ringside area. He doesn't have to crawl all the way back over the barricade to get back inside the ring like Davey had to. The physicality of this match is starting to take a toll on both wrestlers. As again, Todd Sinclair with the count. Edwards looking to send his opponent and partner back inside the ring to follow up. Another maneuver off the top rope from Eddie Edwards coming up. And he missed it. Oh, but he rolled through. Dumped face first. And a knee to the face from Eddie Edwards. A cover and a count of two. Yeah, too Got close. his foot on the rope. Got his foot on the rope. Too close to the ropes. He should have pulled him back to the center of the ring right there before going for the cover. But again, both men so very worn down because this has been such a brutal fight so far. Only in Ring of Honor will you get to see action like this. And again, this for the world TV title. Whichever of these two men walks away with the belt, we'll be having matches like this on television on a regular basis right here on HDNet. But Dave, my question is, in those matches on HDNet... Oh, cover. Here's a cover and a count of... Ooh, so oh, so close. my, I was almost, almost a three count. But back to my point, Dave, in these matches on HDNet, will we again see the tag team known as the American Wolves. You know, whoever has the singles championship around their waist, they'll be defending that belt, but on occasion, yeah, I think we will see future matches from the Wolves. I don't think the dissension is as bad as people have said. I don't know. I, I, I think this might sever this team. This might break them apart uh, forever. Time will tell. Right now, it is all about that belt, all about singles competition for both Richards and Edwards. And Eddie Edwards trying to get Davy Richards up off those ropes. Not able to do it as both guys Ooh. exchanging headbutts now. How about that? Flurry of open hand strikes from Davey Richards. Went for that sunset power bomb, but Eddie holding on and pounding away. He knew it was coming too. That's what happens when you know your opponent so well as these two guys do. Former tag team world champions. Oh. 
Hard shot to the lower back by Richards. And more headbutts. Knocks him off. Eddie all the way to the top rope. Oh my goodness. Put him down on his back. A German superplex. What a combination from Richards. Kick to the face, rolled him up, one, two, and... Only Still two. Alive. Still alive is Eddie Edwards. Oh, but could be knocked out after that. How many of these kicks can he take? Cross arm breaker. Hit. This is the maneuver that earned Davy Richards this bid into the finals by defeating Kenny King. It made Kenny King submit. Got that triangle choke hold on him now. Eddie trying to relieve the pressure. Look at the strength. Look at Eddie Edwards' strength. Got to hand it to Eddie Edwards, fought his way out of that hold. And able to get that foot up right to the head of Davey Richards. Shots to the midsection now, and another headbutt. Headbutt to get him off him. And a knee right into the chest of Davey Richards. Let's see what happens here. Both guys standing up on the ropes now. Here they go. Oh, my goodness. Hurricane Rana off the top rope. And both guys are stunned a bit. Edwards follows up. Powerbomb. One, two. Is it over? No, only oh, two, but most. right now, to the Achilles lock. Eddie Edwards got him in the submission hold. Will Davey Richards submit? He says no for now. How long can he hold on? He's in pain. He can't get to the ropes. He's nowhere near it. He's, he's trying to he's inch his way. He's nowhere near it. Somehow he was able to get up. Boy, give Davey Richards a lot of credit on that. Back to the cross arm breaker he goes. And now he's got Eddie Edwards in the submission hold. And Edwards says, no way. No way. And he on top. Only two. Oh, oh, how about that kick? And I'm Eddie Edwards says, right back at you. Davey lands on his feet. Another kick from Richards. Boy, you saw it in the face of Davey Richards. He was coming after Eddie Edwards. Both wrestlers are down. Both wrestlers are absolutely Exhausted here. This is how much both competitors want to be that first Ring of Honor World Television Champion. And a great display of what this belt means to Ring of Honor Wrestling on HDNet to be defended for you, the television viewers, regularly right here on this program. Dave, we said at the beginning of the match this was going to be all about endurance. And absolutely, that's the story. An awesome display of the wrestling skills and the determination of both of the American Wolves. Series of kicks right here from Davey. Oh, he missed that one. He got it right on the post. Hit his knee on the post. That hurt. Will Eddie Edwards take advantage of this? Oh, there's our answer right on the edge of the steel ring frame. Yeah, he took advantage. He's got to do whatever it takes to pull out the win. And that Achilles lock is the signature submission hold of Eddie Edwards and now has damaged the leg of his opponent. But did he let too much time go by? He's so exhausted. Is he too worn out? Well, the damage was done regardless. And Davey going after the arm to set up for the Kimura. Great wrestling, great strategy from both men. More damage to the leg. 
variation of the dragon screw leg whip into the ropes. Off the top rope, he flies into the back of Davey Richards. Got the cover, one, two, is this over? There's the Achilles lock, knee right in the back as well. And he wants the submission from Davey Richards. Will he get it? Davey Richards says no right now, but he's in some pain. Eddie Edwards will not let go of that hole. Now he does, good job by Davey Richards to kick his way out of it. Oh, but he can't put much weight on that bad leg. Ooh, shoulder first into the ring post. Both of these wrestlers are absolutely exhausted. And both men are injured. The arm of Eddie Edwards and the knee of Davey Richards. Davey tried to get on the top rope a minute ago, couldn't do it. Now he does. And the drop kick right into that injured arm of Eddie Edwards. He's been working on it the whole match and really did some damage there. And going to the top again, another risk. Shooting star press on to Eddie Edwards. Now he's got that arm lock in another submission hold here. The Kimura cinched in by Davey Richards. Will Eddie give it up? And still in that submission, trying to get to the ropes is Eddie Edwards. Not able to do it, now he's up. Now he's got his submission locked in. The Achilles lock. Can Davey hang in there? No! He, no, he doesn't! Eddie Edwards is your champion! Here is your winner and the first Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Eddie Edwards! What a great match we just witnessed. What a battle to become the first television champion, had the cross operator cinched in, but Eddie Edwards relieved the pressure, held onto that leg into the Achilles lock, he went, and Davey Richards could not withstand the pain any longer, forced to tap out. Eddie Edwards, in many ways, emerges from Davey's shadow in singles competition to make history here on HGNet and become the first world television champion in Ring of Honor. How proud Eddie Edwards must be to get that belt, the world TV title belt. Wait a minute! And David Richards just took it away from him. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the end of the American Wolves. No, it's not the end. Show a sportsmanship from his partner. Wow. He beat the man fair and square with the submission hold, Eddie Edwards. This is his night. And what class on the part of Davey Richards. Eddie Edwards, go down in history as the first ever winner of the world. TV title here at Ring of Honor. And as for the American Wolves, I think it's safe to say the hunt is on. You've been watching an exclusive presentation of Ring of Honor Wrestling on HDNet.